Hey everyone, my name is Jason Latour. I'm a producer here at Marvel. That means I get to create really awesome videos like this one right here. Today, I'm gonna read a comic just for you. Our story comes from Marvel Superhero Adventures Web of Intrigue and it's called Spiders Everywhere. Before he died, my Uncle Ben taught me that with great power must also come great responsibility. That's why I became a superhero. And judging by how my spider sense is tingling, it's time to live up to that responsibility again. Spider-Man swinging over the city. And what is the encounter? The rhino robbing an armored car. Not cool at all. We just hit that armored car really hard. You think an armored car could keep me away from that cash? It's like busting open a piggy bank to the rhino. The rhino isn't one of my smartest supervillains, but he's definitely one of the strongest. One more charge will pop that tin can wide open. Here comes the rhino. Nothing can stop the rhino. Thwip. <gasps> well, nothing except tripping over his own feet. The rhino goes down. Splat! Funny, I've never seen him do that before. Thanks, Spider-Man. Uh, you're welcome, but I didn't really do anything. Nope, that would be me. In comes Spider-Girl, AKA Anya Corazon. Amazing what a little sticky webbing can do, huh? Oh, nice work. Guess I'll have to go find some other crime to fight. Spider-Girl beat me to the rhino, but there's bound to be more than one supervillain in town. Spider-Man's real adamant about fighting crime today. I like that about a superhero. Ha! I knew it! It takes a superhero to stop the Sandman's rampage. Time to live up to my responsibil- Oh! Unless Ghost Spider gets there first. Sandman's going at it, but this time, Ghost Spider's in town. You'll need more than a granite fist to squash this spider, Rocky. It's Ghost Spider, AKA Gwen Stacy. And she is putting up a fight. And you'll need more than a web to hold me when I change my body from rock to sand. Well, maybe. But tricking you into changing to sand means I can wash you away with water. No! <laughs> Thank goodness, because I can't stand the Sandman. When I was a kid, he's the villain that scared me the most. Hi, Spidey. Did you need something? Uh, no. I was just passing by. And then Spider-Man got beat to the punch. This is getting ridiculous. There has to be a villain I can catch somewhere. Spider-Man swinging way above the city. And who does he see? Venom. And not just Venom though. At last, Miles Morales may be another Spider-Man, but Venom's dangerous enough to need two spiders to take him down. God. Dude, Spider-Man. It's Spider-Man, AKA Miles Morales, one of my favorites. You don't scare me, Venom. Although that giant tongue is kind of gross. He's right, it's super gross and it gets longer every time I see it, which is kind of weird. Not scared, huh? How about if my living alien costume joins the fight? Okay, that's a little scary. <laughs> Venom's got him in a hold now. I don't think Miles is gonna get away with this one. And here comes Spider-Man. Miles won't be able to breathe under there. I've gotta help him before. I think Venom regretted holding him real tight. What was that? What, you mean my Venom Blast? Great, he even has superpowers that I don't have. It's true, Spider-Man's got a ton of cool powers but nothing involving any kind of blast. There must be someone I can help. Yup, with great power comes little teeny tiny bits of responsibility. It ain't a villain, but he saved the day. I mean, he saved the woman's cat, which is pretty cool, even if you don't like cats. Thank you for bringing down my precious kitty, young man. <laughs> no problem, ma'am. Ow, watch it with those claws, cat. <laughs> Such a charming scene. Enjoy it, Spider-Man, because it will be your last. The Green Goblin! Ah, he's here. 
and he's on one of his cool gliders, which for a villain, it's still a pretty cool ride. Yes, I sent all those villains to tie you out so that I could deliver the final blow. That's quite a scheme, Gobby. except I'm not tired at all. You're not? Different spider heroes fought those guys, not me. Actually, I'm glad to see you. I've been waiting to tackle a supervillain all day. Spidey pulls back that fist. I think he's ready for some action. <gasps> That's the Green Goblin. Hang on, Webhead, we'll give you a hand. Miles, Ghost Spider, and Anya showed up. No, stay out of this. Huh? I think Spider-Man wants to do this one by himself. Keeping this a fair fight? How noble of you. What a pity that I'm not as noble. Oh, boom. Ugh. Not cool, Green Goblin. That's a real villain move right there. No fair, Spidey's back was turned. Do you want some help? No, it's my responsibility. Spider-Man's super adamant about doing this one himself. You miserable wall crawler. You have opposed me for far too long. Now that ends forever. Mm. Green Goblin is real angry. Are you sure you don't want help? I've got this. Spider-Man leaps out of the way. Green Goblin starts to whiz right past him on his glider. The day I can't defeat the Green Goblin, webs him in the eye. Good move, Spider-Man is the day I hang up my webs and call it quits. Then I suppose that day is today. Why won't Spidey let us help? Pow, whack, you got me. Thud, boom. Oh, the Green Goblin does not fight fair. Thwack, thwip, wham. That's more like it, go Spidey. Phew. And that's how you defeat the Green Goblin. And there he is, hanging upside down, all webbed up. What was all that stay back stuff about? Look, I have a responsibility to use my powers to help people, but well, how can I live up to that responsibility if you guys capture my villains instead of me? Dude, when we catch a villain, you have everything to do with it. Miles might be onto something here. You inspire us. Without you, I wouldn't even be a spider hero. Inspire? I do? So that's how I learned a new lesson. Having great power does mean having great responsibility. I do have to live up to it, but that doesn't mean I have to do it alone. The end. You know what I love about that story? Is that Spider-Man feels the need all the time to fight all the villains himself. And the reality is, he doesn't. He's inspired so many heroes to go out there and fight alongside of him, or even without him. And that's pretty great. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Marvel Read. Stay tuned next time for another awesome comic.